Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world. This is the world away. Look, check this box out. This box is massive. So you can imagine we're gonna have some big parts in here. Today I'm doing pack seven of the Agora models release and build the LaFerrari. Can't get my words today, I almost said Agori. Agora models, this is the Agora models Ferrari Pack 7. Now we are gonna be doing some work on the bodywork today, and I believe we're doing some electrics, which is making some people struggle a little bit with the switches at the end of this stage, so I think I will take my time on that. Uh, but this is an amazing build. A lot of the details are already done for us, and we're just piecing them together. You're gonna to see that today. But if you wanna get this for yourself, I have put a link in the video description. There's also a QR code on the screen there that you can scan, and it will take you over to the Agora models website where you can get this all the way from pack one but I'm gonna open this massive box so without further ado let's get cracking Now there is a reason the box is so big because we've only got a little box inside which is crazy there is one other thing though and that's because of this beast here look at this absolutely massive and I believe there might be some other parts in there as well but uh, looking like that I'm going to put that to one side because we don't need that straight away. So this build is going to start with stage 49 where we're going to be building the rear left side panels. And if you check this out, lovely metal this is. Look at that. And as I said, all the detailing has already been done for us. And we've also got this part here. This is in plastic, this part. So it goes to show that the colour match between the metal and plastic, pretty bang on. Now surprisingly, we don't actually start with these parts though. So I could put these to one side. And what it wanted me to do was to actually piece these two parts together, which is stages 46 and 47 together, just like this. So we've now got two of these. I've already done that, as you can see here. So uh, I don't need to start the stage by just doing that. So I'm going to put these to one side and we can get onto these pieces here. Now, again, on the previous pack, we had these cover plates looking just like that. Now, I need the cover plate that looks just like this. And I'm going to be taking this section here which has actually got a label on it that looks like a uh is that an l or a j it's a very weird symbol on there but this is just going to be going onto here like that there it's held in with two h screws now on this build remember all the screws came in pack one so we don't have to look around for those and just get these in nice and tight and this one's number two now the box that we just had here, these sections here are going to be fitting onto this vent, onto this section here. I've just detached the pipe for a second because it's going to make this a little bit easier to get this in. And as you can see, that's clipping in just like that. Now I need to put this pipe back in here and that's just going into the port up here on one side and then the nipple on the other side back here. And then as you can see, probably on the top camera, that's how that should look when it's in. You also want the underside to be flush, just like that. So uh, quite difficult in the pictures to see how that goes, but that's how that should be when it's in there like that. Now to keep this part in, I'm going to be putting two E screws just into this side here and here. So one in this side. And one just underneath it. And I've got this surround to put in, which is just going to go onto the points here and here. And they're held in with two H screws. So this is the last H screw just going in here. And that's all in place. So that's now looking just like that. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 50, it's going to seem familiar to you because we're doing exactly the same thing, just on the other side. So once again, I'm gonna take this metal side panel and I'm gonna be putting this vent in onto these two parts here. So this goes in just like that and it's held in with eight screws. And there we go, that's in nice and tight. We're gonna take over the other box here. And again, I'm gonna be pushing these two lugs here and the screws just onto this square area here. So lining this up first. And once again, through the front here, I want to put E screws. Ensure that we've got a flush fit just at the bottom there. And then once again, I'm going to put this surround on 
which is just going to go on here like that. Again, this is held in with H screws just into these two holes here. And that's those in. I just want to check that the pipe is into where it needs to be. It needs to be into this point just at the top here. So I'm just going to push that in. And that's looking good. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So look at me. I'm just spacing everything out because now, stage 51, I get to open the main chassis. And that is what that looks like. That just took me an age to actually undo all the uh, protection on this. But as you can see, looking good. Looking very good. I love this. Brilliant. So we want to take the fan enclosure that we did in stage 20. Now at the side of the chassis, you can see we've got a hole just here. And on the other side, there's a hole just here. We're going to actually be putting that into this section this way around. So the cable goes back towards the inner cockpit here. And it's just going to go into the front section like that. Make sure that the whole thing fits flat in there. Perfect. It's going to be held in with two E-screws. One this side, one this side. So I don't know if you remember, in stage 20, we had this section here with the sponge in it. This is the base for the cooling system. I'm just going to take that sponge out because this is going to go on the front just here like that. And I will put that sponge back in in a second. It's actually held in with two G screws. These are the silver screws here. And I need two of these. So that's in nice and rigid there. And I will now put that sponge just back in here like that now in the chassis stage the stage that we're working on now we also got this section here which is going to go into these points just here so again just want to keep that that way round and it's g screws in each side here so four of these oil is definitely your friend on these bits and as you can see that's all the way in and that is all there is to do in that stage looking like that Now, absolutely loads in stage 52, but we are doing one of the most detailed sections now of, I'm guessing, the whole build, which is the steering system. Okay, the first thing I need is the rack shaft, which is in this bag. And I also need this rack guard bracket here. Turn this over like this. And I'm gonna to wanna to put this into this hole just here. Hopefully you can see it on the top camera. It's gonna be held in with one of the G screws again. And I need one of these ends to go through this slot just here. So again, on the top camera, if you just put it at an angle, it will drop in just like that, as you can see. The other end of this is gonna be secured in with this bracket here, which fits in just like that. And again, it's tightened in with a G screw. so that that should still be able to rotate around there, just like that. Now I need to take the steering rod. This whole thing is metal, just so you know. And you can see we've got a rack just on one side of the hit, uh, rod here. I'm gonna put that through these holes and ensure that that rack fits over this section just here. So I'm straightening it up and there you go. That fits perfectly on there. So I haven't clamped anything in, but when you turn this now, you can see how this is going to work. When that's riding on there, when we turn that, it's going to go backwards and forwards, just like that. Okay. Now this is the rack shaft guard. And this is going to go into the two holes behind the rack. And there's one hole at the front. So that will show you which way to orientate this. So again, just make sure that this is sitting in the position that it needs to be which looks good. I do want to keep that quite straight, actually. So bear with me, I'm being fussy. <laughs> Perfect. Put this over the top. Once again, it's going to be held in with three G screws. That's the silver screws. And you know what? That took me quite a while just to get that lined up. We're talking 20 minutes, but as you can see, that's looking like that at the moment. Now, at the moment, this doesn't have to be perfectly engaged in there because obviously when we put the structures on here, that's what's going to put it in. But as you can see, that's how that works. Now, let's turn this over. So we've got it this way round. And I'm gonna need the luggage compartment, which we created in the last stage. 
that's going to go into the position just on the top here. Now when I put this in, let's just get this in here, just like that, it should fit flush in there. If it doesn't, loosen this radiator off here and just take the screws out until you can put that in. So it should fit nice and flush. Now in these points here, it's going to be held in with two different screws. On this side, it's actually held in with an F screw. Now the instructions say FF. And we do get some screws in this stage, which are FF screws. Even though we did have screws at the start. That's going to go into the other side just here. So I'm going to get that in. That's the luggage compartment area in place. And I'm just going to replace now the screws that I put in the side here. That's perfect. That's in. Now I've got these brackets to put in the front of that section. And these are just going to go probably again on the top camera into the points here. Facing towards the inside. Just like that. They actually push in so you don't need to screw these in. And just one on this side here. And if you look on the camera, that's how they should go in. So one that side and one that side. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now we do have quite a few things left over, just so you can see. So I'm going to keep them safe. While we're dealing with fiddly things in stage 53, we're going to be working on the front suspension. So it took me long enough just to open all the parts up for this. <laughs> so as you can see, I've got two wishbones here. I'm going to be attaching the shock absorbers to them. Now they look like this. They're actually going to go into this section here on both sides. So one in this side and one in this side. Now we're going to be screwing them in from the straight edge here. We actually screw them in with a BB screw. And they look just like this. And it's just a case of putting these through and screwing them all the way in like this. And then just do the same on the other side. Now each shock absorber is going to have a spring which is going to go over the top. And I'm going to be compressing that down by putting one of these on top. Now what I'm going to do is actually push this down. And at the same time I'm going to be screwing in a uh, end screw just into the top. This is going to be fun. Now the end screws are flange screws here. So you let the screwdriver push that down for you. As you can see, that works a treat. Get that as tight as I can. There you go, that's in place. Now I may need to turn this later on, but it can still turn on top, so that's good. So that's one done, let's do the same on the other side. Spring down the top, this over the top here. Once again, you let my screwdriver push that down and screw that into place. There we go. That's the second one in like that. Now do you remember the phrase, the devil's in the detail? Well, we're about to put a lot of detail in now. So we have got these spherical joints here, which are going to go into the bottom. And then over the top of that, I've got a clip to put in to keep that into place. So it's going to be a bit tricky. Put it in like that. There is some locating lugs for this to fit in like that there. And then I'm going to be holding that in with one M screw. As you can see, we've now got a pull joint just on the bottom. That's clever. Okay, do the same on the other side. Just like that. Once again, an M screw to hold that into place. I can just put these to one side and bring over these two sections. And just like we've done last time, I'm going to be putting some of these ball joints here into these sections. So... Once again, that goes in like this. Then I have this clip going over the top. And once again, an M screw to hold that in. So I'm going to do that on both of these. And that's those two completed as well. Now we do have a lot of brackets here, which we're not actually using because that's the end of the stage. In stage 54, we are uh, going around the houses a bit now. We're not working on the same thing at each time. We've got the sway bar or anti-roll bar, and we've got another brake disc here. But the funny thing is, I don't look like we're using that at the moment. I'm going to put that to one side. And in the stage of the chassis, we had these two bracket sections here. I'm going to open them now. 
and it's this one I want first because those brackets we had in the last stage I'm now going to be affixing to this side just here. So where we've got a raised section in the middle, I want them to face towards the middle here. Now they're held in with size K screws. So I'll do one, show you what this looks like. And when they're on, they should look like that. As you can see, the raised sections are pointing in the middle there. I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other side. And there's the other side done there. If anyone's wondering what all of this uh, markings are on my hand here, this was from yesterday's build where I built a wooden dinosaur for the Patreons. I can hardly pull my fingers today, but uh, that's what that's all about. So put these to one side and I want to bring over this front left brake disc. And I want to take this control arm, which is stamped with an L. This is the left control arm. That's going to go through the hole here like this. It is shaped. So you will need to just maneuver that to get that in. And it's going to be held in with an L screw just through this side here. Now you will need to hold that into place so you can get that tight. Excellent. That's that upper control arm in place there. Then I'm looking for the left control arm here. And I'm going to be putting the bottom of this one into the bottom just here. Exactly the same way. Get that all the way through then. It's going to be held in with one of the flanged L screws. And again, you want to hold that really secure with your thumb when you screw this in. And get that in nice and tight, like that. Perfect. So, we've got the two control arms in place, and we've got the shock attached, and that's all there is to do in that stage. Now, stage 55 has the front right brake in here. Looking like this. I'm going to put that to one side because I need to bring over the chassis again because I'm going to be fixing some brackets along the side just here. Now they're going to be going, if you look on the top camera, onto these points here. And once again, I want the raised section of this bracket to be facing towards the inside. So it's going to go on just like this. It's going to be done what you see on this side on the other side as well. Uh, but I am holding them in with a type M screw. And when they're on... They should look like that. I'll do the same on the other side. And they're on just like that. Now, put that to one side. And bring over the right brake disc now. And just like we did for the left one, I'm going to be copying exactly what we've done on this one. So, with the overhang at the top there, I'm going to be taking this control arm. That's going to go onto the top there, through the bottom held in with a flanged L screw. Then I'm going to be taking the suspension shock arm, put that through the bottom, and just screw that into place as well. So this is the right one. This is the left one. I'm going to be putting the left hub in first. It's basically going to be going in this way, like that with the caliper facing towards this side of the vehicle, not this side. And I'm going to be holding that in with some O screws. And they screw from the outside in. That's why we had to make sure that the brackets were around the right way. So one in this side. And this one is going into this side just here. Now I want to type C screw. Tiny flange screw. And I'm going to be taking this part of the steering here. And putting it over this section just here like that. And again, the C-screw is going to hold that into place. And you can see that working, because when I'm turning that, it's turning this here. So that's perfect. And now I want some CC screws. And I'm going to be fixing this shock absorber to the side just here with these screws. Now we haven't attached the bottom control arm at the moment we're leaving that loose but I'm going to do exactly what you just saw here on the other side so we'll come back and see what that looks like and there you go that's both sides on you see when I turn them they both turn excellent now this is the sway bar here and this is going to fit into the upper control arms on each side so one this side and one this side just over here and these are just held in with some H screws here and make sure we do this to both sides now we haven't got to clamp this into place yet, but that is all there is to do in that stage. Yeah. 
this has been a massive pack and we're on to the last section now and this is the section for what I understand a lot of people were having issues with so let's have a look at this so the first thing I've got is the LED light here I think this is a uh, uh, an interior light perhaps let's get this open now this light is going to go into this bracket support here so I'm just going to push that in now Get it in as deep as you can possibly get it. So you can see on the other side, it's going to hold itself there as well. And this is actually going to be going into this section here. But what we're going to be doing is putting this into the chassis here, just into this point here. So what happens is the light, which looks really good like that, is going to be going onto this section here with these two lugs facing towards the rear. Now, you need to push it quite hard to get that in there. Now, this light here is going to fit over the lugs just at the back of that. So that's in like that there. And then what we want to do is we want to get the cable, put it through this hole here. So it comes out through that section there. I want to bend this light round so that's going to lie flat on there. And then eventually we'll be tidying this wire up around the side of the inner chassis later on. So now we've got to do the door switches. So let's get these out. And you will find this easier to work with if you just basically pull the wire to get that nice and straight so that all the kinks are out of this. So this is the right hand side of the car. So I need the right door switch first. So what I want to do is take the right door switch here, pass it through this section just at the top, and it's going to be sitting in here just like this. Now it should fit comfortably in there, just like that. So you can only just see the tip of that switch coming out, hopefully on the top camera as well. So basically when the door shuts, it's just gonna activate that and it's gonna turn that switch off. So now we've got that in, I do need to put a plate over the top. This is the plate here. So I'm trying to hold this in and get the plate in like that. That's gonna keep the switch into place there. And it's held in with these AA screws. And that's the first switch in place just like that. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. I'm going to try and help you out a little bit more here. Probably best on the top camera. This edge here of the switch is actually going to be following the contours of this indent here. You see an L-shaped content in there? So as long as you've lined that up to sit in there perfectly. And to do that, you sort of need to bring it up so you can feed the excess of this wire just through that hole there. That should seat itself quite nicely in there. I'll put the uh, guard on here and then screw that in with this AA screw. And then what you'll notice is that again, that switch can now operate just like that. I've just put that to one side because we've got these sides now that I need to put on. So let's get these open. And as you can see, these have got lugs on them and they're just gonna line them up and press these into place. So just doing the back first, then I can do these ones. One, two. Perfect, and that's that side on just like that. We do the same on the other side. Again, just line up the back ones first and then push them into place. And then just do the tabs under the doors. Perfect, and that's those two on. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. That was pretty amazing. Absolutely amazing. So much so that the recording time for this is two and a half hours. But it is looking really good. Now we do have some parts left over. I mean, there's loads actually. We've got these parts that we we're working on previously. Uh, we had this metal section here. We had this section just here. We haven't done anything with. So uh, obviously they're going to go in the box. And I'm sure we're going to be dealing with that in one of the next packs. But I hope that's helped you out. I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.